There we go. Okay. Another day in paradise. Right on. We're on. Gotta, gotta pour myself a drink here, you know. Can't just just can't go on without having some beverage handy. I mean, come on, can't do that. Here we go. A little bit of a little bit of caffeine free. Non-spiked caffeine free. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. There we are. Ooh, perfect. All right. Hey, guys. How you doing down there? Uh, let me just get my cursor into the right spot. Where is my cursor here anyway? Where? I can't see it. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah. There, 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 there I am. Yeah. Oh. Hi. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Welcome to the show. Uh, sorry, can't put the Speedos on. It's too cold out. Uh, not even not even close to speedo weather uh i'm not even interested in going in the community pool uh putting it on there uh not a chance no how's everyone doing today welcome to the show welcome to uh friday um uh, feb 22nd 2019 uh welcome one welcome all i'm glad you made it to uh, to traveling with bruce for a friday afternoon the week has come to an end uh, almost for pretty well well those of you in most of north america except out here in the west Hope you had a good week, and I hope the weather wasn't too bad for you this week. It's been uh, been a kooky, a kooky weather system this week, depending on where you are in the country. Here in Creston, where I am, um, we are uh, probably about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, that's our high of the day. Yeah, not warm enough for me. Um, been very overcast and gray looking today. No, no snow falling, just overcast and gray, yucky kind of. But, uh, you know, just another one of those winter days that we're, we're grinding our way through February here, looking for two or three minutes of added sunshine every day as the days get longer here. Uh, but uh, still, uh, yeah, there's uh, snow everywhere and it's really not going away because uh, <laughs> we're not getting warm enough with enough sunshine to burn it off. So we got to tolerate it for a bit longer. But I can tell you, it's a dust-free environment outside and there are no mosquitoes or uh, grasshoppers. So. You know, if you're thinking about a couple of things to kind of, you know, be happy about, you're not going to get stung if you go for a walk outside with a mosquito or anything like that. So, that, you know, that's that's a good thing, I suppose. But uh, that's all I can say for it. <laughs> this is perfect cruise weather as far as I'm concerned. And uh, days are getting closer. I know it for me to get on a cruise here with Jennifer. We'll, we'll let you know when we uh, book something. We're always scheming. Um, so welcome to the channel, all of you here. Thank you for joining me again today. If you've never been here before, I'm Bruce. We love talking about cruise ships and cruise ship vacations and keep up on the developments in the cruise business, what's going on out there. Uh, the channel, uh, this channel here now is 18 uh, months and about 10 days old, roughly. Uh, started August 2017. Here we are, April 22nd, 2019. I went off the air yesterday. We had 16,335 subscribers uh, today, right now, 16,409. We've just broke through 16,4. Another 74 have come on board to join the TWB family. Fantastic. I love it. Uh, so glad to have uh, more members joining in all the time to become part of the uh, TWB group. I think it's fabulous. I think a year ago, uh, April, uh, uh, sorry, fe Feb. What am I talking about? Feb 22nd. Today's, today's February 22nd, isn't it? Yeah, it's February. What am I talking about? April. It's Feb 22nd. What am I? I'm in a time warp. Uh, I think I had a problem. I went for a ride yesterday in a DeLorean, and it had one of those shiny little lights in between the back seat there, one of those blinking things, like the two came down into one. Uh, flux capacitor, and uh, I forgot to reset my timer, so just pardon me here. Uh, I don't know what planet I'm on. It's Feb 22nd, not April. Feb 22nd, 2019, a year ago, uh, I had about 1,030 subscribers. <laughs> what a year we have had here. Uh, what a 12-month run. Unbelievable. And uh, in uh, in about August, we were at 3,000 subscribers. So, you know, February, March, April, May, June, July, all the way through the summer, we, were, we got up to 3,000, which is triple from 1,000. But since August, uh, which is now only like five and a half, six months ago, we have tripled again. Now we're at, like I say, 16,400. Wow. It's uh, 
it's incredible to think of how fast the channel's grown in the last little while. But thank you for those of you who've joined me recently and who've been here all the way from the, the early days. I'm glad to have you with me, and uh, we try to have fun here on our live shows. I am live Monday to Friday, 5 o'clock Eastern, Saturdays at 2, talking cruise ships, and then Tuesdays and Thursday nights, for good measure, I host a live trivia show, uh, which we have a lot of fun with as well. Tomorrow's show, tomorrow at 2 o'clock, it'll be a combination of cruise news and a bit of trivia. I kind of put the two together into one. And those of, you, those of you who come around Saturdays, we always have a good time on Saturdays uh, at 2 Eastern. And uh, I try to stump you with some, some trivia type questions. It's always a good time. So thank you, uh, those of you who've joined me today and all this past week. We've been just uh, setting records for the live shows. The, uh, the live telecast has, been, uh, has really been picking up lately. I've been looking at my analytical charts and uh, I can sort of see the last, I can see a chart for any time I want. But I started going live a year ago. Uh, January the 6th, 2017. I remember the first few weeks that I was doing my live shows, trying to figure out <clears throat> how many times a week I would go live and what I would talk about and how I would do the show. We were getting anywhere from 10 to 20 people at a time watching the show. Uh, there'd be like the, the meter would show, you know, 13 people watching, <laughs> 17. I remember when we broke 25 once. Ooh, we broke, <laughs> we broke 25. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Uh, here we are now, uh, you know, we're still running it up. Uh, we were we were in that 60, 70 range uh, usually at all times. And by the time I get off the air, I could see that we'd have three or 400 people who would watch the show during the telecast. Nowadays, uh, it's not uncommon for us to reach uh, 90 to 100 plus people at a time watching, which is just, you know, amazing. I love it. Uh, hopefully that'll continue to grow. And um, I'll take a look at the, the stats. Uh, I know that yesterday's show... Uh, uh, gosh, what was it? It's it's uh, it's right up. It's like seven eight hundred or higher from Monday. I think we have seventeen hundred views of the Monday show, come live and rerun. Fantastic! A lot of people are discovering it, are finding it. They seem to enjoy it, and uh, more and more people are joining me live. So, if you are new uh, to this uh, live chat, you've never been here before, uh, please do what my regulars always do: uh, say hi to me. Tell me uh, where are you watching me from, especially if you're new. If you're you're around here a while, I'll figure I'll remember where you're from. Like after a while, it sinks in. But tell me where are you located? Are you in uh, Canada, the USA? What what city are you in? So what town? Uh, what's your high temperature today? And uh, what's the price of gas in your neighborhood? We're always comparing gas prices all over the place. And uh, did you get an ad today when uh, before my show started? Who's advertising to you? Let me know. I'm kind of curious to see who's trying to get your attention uh, through my uh, through my YouTube channel. Anyway, there you go. Uh, welcome one and welcome all. Um, some of you have been uh, letting me know uh, about your uh, your attempts to acquire uh, merchandise on Amazon.com using my link, my Traveling with Bruce link, which is located down below here in the description just underneath my picture here. Uh, if you do that, if you go to my link and click on that, it'll take you right to the Amazon homepage. And if you want to buy something, go ahead. I end up getting a commission on anything you pick up on Amazon. It varies from 1%, 2% up to about 8%. A uh, number of you have been sending me messages going, I, I picked something up. Uh, to look for this. Look for that. And, and thank you. <laughs> thank you for that. I do look for that. I uh, get a report every morning when I log in. It'll show me uh, any orders that have been placed yesterday, anything that was shipped yesterday, what kind of a royalty did you make yesterday. I think a couple of days ago, I think I made a $4 royalty. The other day, I made $2.50 in royalty. It doesn't matter. It just adds up. It's seven days a week, and uh, these these dollars and pennies just keep coming in. Uh, if any of you are going to buy a Gucci purse or uh, you know a two thousand dollar a camera system, please uh, use my affiliate. Like uh, I could use that commission. That would be great. Uh, and then any of any of you out there who uh, work uh, you know with a, with a company or you have a small business out there and you're picking up uh, merchandise for your business. You're allowed to use an affiliate link for this channel to do it. That would be great. Uh, you know, anybody out there working for like, you know, General Electric and like that, you know, trying to buy a couple million dollars worth of stuff, you know, just use the affiliate link for traveling with Bruce. That would go a long way to help me pay my bills. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Fortune 500 companies are always welcome to make purchases through my affiliate link. Of course, uh, heck, even uh, Fortune, Fortune 500 top 10,000 companies would be welcome to make a purchase. Thank you very much. Uh, also, thanks to those of you out there who are acquiring TWB merchandise on my Redbubble store. Thank you for that. Some of you folks are ordering coffee mugs and travel mugs and wall clocks and T-shirts and hoodies, and it just goes on and on and on. 
Love that. The folks at Redbubble do a great job with this merchandise. They handle everything. They handle your order. They take your money. They get your address. They, they send you a, a confirmation number. They send you a tracking info on your package. They, uh, they follow up with you. They handle and re-returns if there's an issue. They, they, just, they just do it all. And uh, all I have to do is uh, uh, arrange to get these logos into these guys, help them fit it out, and then they're on their way. And, uh, and then what I find is uh, a whole bunch of you folks are joining my Facebook group page called Traveling with Bruce, spelled with two L's. You're coming over to the Facebook group page, and you're joining in, and you're asking to join as a member, which, which I'm more than happy to have you do. And a whole bunch of you start showing off pictures of you wearing the, the shirts or you're sh showing a photograph of your latest acquisition from TWB so that everyone in the TWB family can see this is what this shirt looks like in red. This is what it looks like in blue. This is what it looks like in black. This is what it's fantastic. I just love it. Fantastic. Thank you all for all of your support of this channel. I cannot thank you enough. I try to. But I can't. Um, news today. I haven't got very much to tell you about today. I've got a, a couple of things to mention. Um, a little, little, little tidbit of news. Uh, I guess. I guess I'm. It's a good thing I haven't got much to talk to you about because there really are no uh, disasters at sea right now. This week has been all quiet on the Western Front here, with regard to uh, uh, cruise ships with engine problems, uh, cruise ships uh, crashing into piers or docks. None of that's been going on. It's best I know. Um, you know, people aren't jumping off the cruise ship this week. No one seems to be jumping off cruise ships. Uh, uh, this type of thing. Don't there's don't seem to be family brawls going on right now. Uh, uh, haven't seen any you know commotion. <laughs> no serious arrests being made. It's 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 been calm. Uh, people have been enjoying the the cruising world for what it is. It's a place to enjoy yourself and relax and get away from it all. But hey, uh, anybody out there wants to cause a commotion? I'm on it. I'll uh, I'll uh, make a story on it if I have to. But the news that I came up with today, for those of you who are here just for the news, um, Tampa Bay, the port of Tampa Bay, uh, released uh, a little press release uh, this morning talking about how they surpassed 1 million passengers through the port of Tampa Bay in 2018. That's a new high for them. They expect to do well above that for 2019 based on um, reservations already made for dock space. Uh, they've got Carnival in there. They've got Norwegian and a number of other lines that are, are using the uh, using the, the pier, the, the facilities. They're going to invest this year $10 million in upgrades. Uh, they've got three passenger terminals there that they operate. They're upgrading all three of those with a $10 million cash injection. Um, and uh, that's just a sign that everything is rolling along in Tampa Bay. They they brag about how uh, uh, Tampa Bay, uh, the port at Tampa Bay, is uh, it's a port you can go to to take a trip either to uh, Mexico, uh, like a Mexican cruise, Cuba, uh, the Caribbean, various regions, uh, and also uh, uh, through the Panama Canal from time to time. So quite a number of ships utilize Tampa. It's a... Uh, it's a uh, uh, you know handy city to use because they have an international airport. Uh, they have a good infrastructure, and uh, and uh, it's showing uh, by by the by the company uh, by the uh, port of Tampa growing its numbers. So way to go, Tampa uh, Tampa Bay and area. Uh, great people live in that area. I have a few viewers of mine who live down there. Fantastic folks, and great supporters of TWB. So no surprise that Tampa is uh, is growing out. Um, the other news I have was uh, uh, off the coast of Australia. I have some news from down under. Um, tropical, uh, well, the tropical cyclone now, uh, OMA, O-M-A, is uh, it was a cyclone. It's now a tropical cyclone. Um, it might be weakening a little bit, hopefully, we're crossing our fingers. It has been causing a bit of havoc with some cruise liners down there where ships have diverted their routing to avoid it, which is, of course, what cruise liners do. They don't tackle hurricanes or cyclones. Uh, the one cruise ship, the P&O ship, the uh, Pacific Dawn, uh, was uh, has been forced to stay out at sea for a day or two longer because uh, she's she was due to come into Brisbane and uh, return and finish her cruise there, uh, but she stayed out a couple of extra days to avoid the storm, waiting for her to to pass and ultimately uh, you know leave the region. Um, and so they've been staying out uh, more in the uh, New Caledonia area to keep their passengers safe and. Uh, 
keep them out of danger and harm's way. That's what cruise lines do. I did read, though, that the other day the ship uh, made a stop in, in one of its ports and a, a number of passengers dis, dis, did disembark there and then they flew back to where they were from, whether it uh, may not have been Brisbane per se, per se, but it might have been Sydney or Melbourne. They arranged flights from one of the stops and flew from there. But the rest of the passengers, they're staying on the ship and they're getting a couple extra days for nothing. It's a good deal. Uh, the drinks are flowing, the meals are going, and uh, they're in calm waters or uh, much calmer waters. Um, there was a report, though, that a day or two ago they were involved with some five-meter-high swales, but they have steered clear of that weather uh, big time and, and uh, have gone to a much calmer area of, uh, of uh, the sea um, and a good on them. There's a three-day cruise that was supposed to come uh, happen out of Brisbane that's been canceled. This next day, this next short cruise, it's been canceled because obviously they're not going to be in Brisbane to pick up anybody, and so they're uh, they've canceled the three day cruise. But I think they're back to normal uh, a couple of days from now. They'll be back to a normal schedule again, and that's the latest from uh, from down under. Um, one piece of uh, uh, something I wanted to mention to you guys today, something I saw today that I actually took a picture of with my big ass iPad. Uh, those of you who don't know, I have this great big giant big ass iPad here which I generally use to see my co I see your comments coming in here. I also occasionally will accidentally push a button and turn the machine off, uh, which I hate. You know, I hate these little buttons on the sides where you just you touch it and the whole thing goes dead. But anyway, I follow my own show here with my own comments. But what I did was I took the camera on it that, that, that this unit had. I took a couple of photos today, and I wanted to show you this because we all see this. Uh, you see this. I see this. Uh, you'll see something like this. I hope you can see this all right. I, I'm going to try to show it to you without the glare. Let me see if I can do that. Yeah, there we go. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. If I can make this work. There we go. Come on. Cooperate with me. There you go. Okay, so I just took a picture of this advertisement. That's all I'm trying to show you. This big old advertisement, all right? And it's uh, basically uh, uh, an advertisement talking about a great cruise deal that you can have here um, with, um, I think it's Royal Caribbean. Yeah, it's a Royal Caribbean. So it says, dive into deals. And then sixty percent off second guest plus kids. See that right here? Kids sale free. You see that? All right. And then bonus tip up to one hundred fifty dollar instant savings. We see ads like this all the time. This is not a. Uh, there's that light I'm trying to put. This is not a new uh, phenomenon or anything like that. We see stuff like this all the time. But today, what I did was I, I hit the learn more button. I hit that learn more. I hit that. And boy, did I learn? Did I learn stuff? <laughs> Uh, you can learn a lot when you uh, hit a button like that because you get a whole page like this. This is everything you can learn. Sorry, I'll try it again. Everything you thought you could learn, you didn't know you could learn, you can learn by reading this stuff here. Oh my God. Called the fine print. Uh, yeah, it's the actual details on this deal. And uh, I was zeroing in on the, uh, <laughs> the kids' sale free uh, thing because I know that will appeal to moms and dads. I mean, you know, husbands and wives with children, they'll see that and go, oh, the kids can go for free. This would be great. Mom and dad will get the cruise and the kids will go for nothing. And we'll, you know, we'll share a cabin and off we go. I have a wonderful deal. Well, okay, here, here we go. <laughs> the note is uh, with regards to kids sale free. Uh, it says here that uh, that uh, it provides free cruise fare for third guests and, and higher, fourth guests and so on who are 12 years old or younger, so that's kids, right, uh, on select uh, four-night or longer Alaska, Bahamas, Bermuda, Canada, Caribbean, uh, coastal, uh, Caribbean, coastal, uh, Cuba, Europe, Hawaii sailings uh, between March 1st and December 15th, 2019. That makes sense. This after all is February 22nd, not April, February 22nd. So for this to work, it, it's applicable between March 1st, like next week, until the, the uh, December the 15th. Well, that sounds good. Uh, what's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, but there's exclusions. There's just a couple of couple little, little, tiny, little tiny exemptions here. Here we go. Uh, offer excludes spring break sailings. <laughs> sailings between March 16th and March 30th. Um, Holy Week Easter sailings. Uh, that's between April 13th and April 22nd. Uh, summer sailings, uh, that's between May 15th, by the way, the summer is May 15th, 
until August 31st. The whole, it doesn't include that, uh, so forget that. And 2019 Thanksgiving sailings for our American friends on uh, November 23rd, the 30th. So, <laughs> in other words, whenever the kids aren't in school, this deal doesn't apply. <laughs> it only applies when the kids are in school. So, if you want to bring the kids along for free, you can bring them along for nothing, but you got to pull them out of school. And uh, depending on how your children do at school and their involvement in school teams and school plays and you know and everything else good luck with that uh so uh yeah I, I read those exclusions and i went yeah here you go it, it just the whole summer may 15th to the end of august this deal don't apply baby you gotta you, you gotta pay for those kids in the summertime so this this ad this whole ad is so i mean it's just a joke i mean you know kids sale free uh, i don't well yeah a couple of months of the year uh the rest of the time can't bring your kids on the cruise like that. Yeah. Anyway, there you go. It, it just it just shows you. Uh, you know, it, it's the cruise line showing off. Uh, oh, how great we are, and what a great deal we have for you, and uh, you can save all this money. The other thing here is a sixty percent off the second guest. <laughs> off what? Uh, that's what I want to know. Uh, what it is? It's off the rack rate. Um, I don't know if you folks have ever paid rack rate for a cruise. I've never paid a rack rate for a cruise. I've always paid what so supposedly been a sale price. Uh, you know, a typical uh, cruise, say in uh, the Caribbean, a one week cruise uh, might run. Uh, oh, I don't know, might run uh, twenty five hundred dollars for the rack rate price. But the price that I end up paying, it's uh, it's more like six hundred ninety nine dollars or seven hundred ninety nine dollars for a for a balcony for a week. Um, because they're always on sale, supposedly from sixty to eighty-five percent off. So sixty percent off is not sixty percent off six ninety-nine. Far from it. It might be sixty percent off twenty-five hundred, which brings it down to nine hundred dollars. Uh, that's still too much. <laughs> so even if the kids did go for free and you average it all out, you're still paying too much money. So uh, these banner ads, I find them to be uh, a bit humorous. Uh, I get a little chuckle out of them. I, I rarely look at the fine print because I know how long that fine print really is. And uh, it's uh, it's a bit of a misleading uh, thing. But, you know, it's a way to to get you going, get your juices flowing. Uh, of course, I always recommend, as as you folks know, as you're if you're regulars of mine, you do know that I'm a fan of um, – one of the cruise sites, one of the websites out there known as vacations to go.com. I don't have any affiliation with these people. Um, I, I'm not sponsored with them. I should be, but I'm not. Um, but uh, I always recommend if you want to get an idea of what cruising is going to cost you, what does it cost to take a cruise, uh, go to vacations to go.com because you can utilize their site any way you like. Um, you'll see the prices of all cruise lines um, and you can customize that site to a point where it'll work perfectly for what you're after if you you know you only have 15 days holiday in april of this year or next year you can literally tell the site show me cruises between april 1 and 15 or april 10 and 25 whatever that time frame is show me those show me the cruises for any cruise line uh show me just only caribbean or show me uh uh, Mediterranean or show me, uh, uh, you know, any region you want. Um, and, uh, show me only seven day cruises. That's all I want to see. Uh, or three to five days or like three to six day cruises. That's all I want to see. Or seven to, to 13 days. That's I just want to see those cruises. Uh, you can do that. You can tell it to just uh, show me only cruises that leave from the state of Florida or the state of California or the city of Pick your city, uh, New York only. What what leaves out of New York in April for the Caribbean or anywhere? Um, you can customize this thing to a fine, fine point. And then when the results pop up, you can then say, all right, well, show them to me now from the cheapest to the most expensive. And show me just balcony because I'm not going to take anything but a balcony room. So balcony, cheapest to highest, uh, two-week time frame, 10 days, one month. Uh, so many days long, this region or whatever region from this port or this region, hit it and you'll get it all. And I, I, that's what I love about it. I don't have to call any travel agent to waste their time. I can just schlep around myself and I can see all these itineraries listed here. It'll tell me the, the date of departure, how long the cruise is for, 
what the cruise line is, the name of the ship, then the rack rate price and the price price. And um, uh, once I see that, I see all of those listed there. I see one that I enjoy, like I like more info on. I can then hit that one cruise, just that one cruise only, and then I get the itinerary popping up for that cruise. And I can uh, dig into that. There's all kinds of subsections inside that describing the ship and how old it is, how big it is, how many passengers it holds, the ports of call on this cruise, uh, the prices of an inside ocean view, balcony suite. You can see all those right in one page, all one page. And uh, from there, you know, you don't like that. You, you're disappointed in that. You hit the back button. You're back to that grid of yours that you had with all those other cruises. And you can do that with every single one of those you can spend hours, just hours on the site. And that's what I love to do. I love to 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 get in there, dig in there, and see what I can find and uh, determine whether any of these cruises works for me and from a timing point of view, an itinerary point of view, a budget point of view. The cruise line uh, agrees with me. The ship of that cruise line agrees with me. All of these factors. And I can even see deck plans of those ships as well inside this this entire thing you can go that deep it's just fabulous you want to see pictures of the ship you can hit the, there's a section here shows you a random selection of photos of the ship all professionally done beautiful so anyway i love to do that but these banner ads that i see here they they always make me chuckle because i see 60 percent off for the second passenger meaningless absolutely meaningless and you noticed uh, i don't know if you noticed but i noticed that ad there wasn't a dollar sign anywhere <laughs> There was no starting at whatever. There was nothing starting at anything. It was just a generic, uh, nice picture of the blue water and, uh, you know, save 60% kids sale free. Yeah, right. Anyway, there you go. That's just my my little rant of the day as we as we move forward. I see 97, 98 of us here today. Fantastic for a Friday. Fridays are not usually one of my top rated shows. Uh, people are busy getting ready for the weekend. I get that. Um, but I welcome you all to the uh, to the chat today. I'm glad you're here. I got 35 thumbs ups today. Thank you for that already. That's uh, fantastic too. Um, and uh, just a reminder, if you if you have not been, please consider coming on over to Facebook and joining Traveling with Bruce, the uh, Facebook group page. Uh, ask to join the group. I'll let you in. I'm the administrator of the thing. I've got a whole bunch of my uh, regulars. We're over, now we're over 400 members now. We were only at about 250 members a month or two ago. We're over 400 now. Um, people are posting photos on the Facebook group page of their holidays, ships they've been on, uh, news that they're hearing about in the uh, cruise world. Uh, they've got, they post questions on there. So if you've got a question that you would like e either I to answer or one of us to answer on your behalf about a, a cruise line, a cruise ship, a port of call, whatever, post the question there as well. Uh, you can certainly do it here on my show live, but after hours, head over to the group page for Traveling with Bruce. And uh, we'll try to help you out and give you whatever information you need to know, and uh, you're good to go. Um, I love seeing, uh, whenever anyone does this, I just get a kick out of it, people posting photos of old uh, brochures from cruises gone by. You remember those days when there were brochures at the travel agency office? Brochures from the 60s, the 50s, the 70s, the 80s, uh, anything like I love seeing stuff like that. Love to see photos of, of cruises that either you were on as a child or your parents were on where they left you at, you know, Auntie Jane's place. Uh, they went off on their own. Uh, photos of, of old, of, of, from cruises from, well, you know, days gone by. Cruise ships that don't exist anymore. Uh, love to see that type of stuff. A lot of my members just love to see that. Old pictures of cruise liners, you know, the old black and white photos of, of cruise ships or of ocean liners, uh, anything like that from your grandparents' days. If you get a chance to post anything like that on my uh, Facebook page, I would love that too. Thank you uh, so much. That That is, I get a real kick out of it. So does, uh, so does the rest of my viewers. Anyway, there you have it. There's uh, my little spiel for the day. Welcome one, welcome all. I'm glad you're here. 42 thumbs ups here. We're rolling along. I'm going to say hi to who's here. Please say hi to me if you're just watching out there. Tell me where you're watching me from. Uh, John LeBeau is here. Hello, TWV. Rain, rain, rain. 47 degrees. Gas is 235. <laughs> right on, John. Uh, Gavin is here from Australia. Gay Thai. Uh, good morning from Fl Fl Flinders Ranges, South Australia. We're heading for 100 degrees today, uh, one week out from autumn. So uh, we're a little ways out from summer. They're coming into autumn. Unbelievable. Uh, Gavin, welcome to the show. Thank you for your kind words. 
Uh, he, he, would, he had sent me an email today. Really appreciate that. Uh, Wendy Thompson, no rain, 85 here in Ocala. Hello, everybody. Well, Wendy, we now know why you live there. <laughs> she moved there last year for a good reason. Vivian is here from the UK. Vivian, welcome back there. Evening all. Been a nice day in the UK. The sun came out, uh, albeit a little cold, but it is dry. Um, hi there, uh, Gavin. Must be nearing spring heard then. Uh, uh, Vivian, uh, or there, or is it spring here then, she says. That's right. He's getting into fall. It's getting ready for spring. Well, we're a ways yet from spring, but we're hanging out for it. Uh, Vivian, uh, hello, Wendy uh, and John. Uh, Roger Leonard is here. Um, uh what is that? There's something in the first state today. Uh, not sure what you're trying to tell me. Uh, Vivian, uh, what what or where is the first state? I'm wondering, is it is it Massachusetts? Is that Was that the first state of the Union? I, again, I'm Canadian, so I'm forgiven, so I don't know. Is it Virginia? Was that the first state? What is the first state? Welcome, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, I need U.S. history from some of my U U.S. viewers. You have to help me out, keep me straight. Um, uh, Linda Lou, hey, TW family, 29 Fahrenheit and finally some sun, no snow forecasted for a week, but you never know about this weather. Linda Lou is in Reno. Welcome, my dear. Uh, she's saying hi there, John, uh, Gavin, Wendy, Viv, everybody. Kelly Haslin, 70 degrees in Pensacola, Florida today. Yeah. Happy Friday, TWB family. No kidding. Nice. Wendy Thompson, hi, Viv, uh, John, everyone else. Uh, Linda Lou, wow, 85, Wendy. Vivian, uh, I'm so moving to Florida, she says. Uh, Linda Lou, Florida is nice temps in the winter, but not sure about the other parts of the year. Vivian, um, I think I'd risk it, she says. Uh, Wendy, uh, Viv, now you know why we did uh, we did too many cool, cold winters in Missouri and, and Michigan. My sister's coming next week. She's threatening to move in. Uh, Vivian can always uh, sit in a fridge if it gets too hot. That's true. You can always do that. Wendy Thompson, uh, Viv, summer is humid. That's true. But that's what air conditioning is all about. Tom Henry, hi, everybody. Uh, thank God it's Friday. That's right, Tom. How you doing, buddy? Good talking to you earlier today. Welcome, I met Vivian. Uh, my uh, my Artie would love it. She says uh, Linda Lou. That's the great thing here. No humidity. Uh, that's Reno. Uh, higher up, of course. Uh, Vivian. Uh, hi, um, uh, Linda Lou. Uh, Tom's here. Woohoo, Vivian. Uh, Tom. Hi, Tom. Alan Carter. Hi, all. Um, in Calgary, it is ninety-eight cents a liter for gas, Canadian, and it's four below Celsius. Much milder than in the past few weeks, for sure. Alan, welcome, my man. Wendy, uh, Wendy Thompson. Uh, oh, uh, just pack a, just pack a bag, get on a plane, and then on a cruise ship. Tom, have some fun. <laughs> That's what he's gonna do. Tom is on a plane, I think, tomorrow, and he's on a cruise ship on Sunday, out of uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, with his buddy uh, Paul Wilgus. Should be great. Cool jazz. Hello, Tom. Did you finish all your work? Vivian, hi. Cool. Uh, Paul Wilgus is here. Hello, everybody. It's 46 and raining in Virginia. Paul, that's about to become a memory. Uh, you're going to be into some nice, warm, tropical weather. Right on, buddy. Way to go. Uh, Linda Lou, just hours away now. Tom, Vivian, hello, Paul. Tom Henry, 48 Fahrenheit and dry here. Paul Lucas, hello, Tom. Cool jazz. Hey, hello, Viv. Hi, Viv. How you doing? Paul Lucas, hello, Wendy. Graham J is here. Hi there. Graham is in. How you doing, Graham? Welcome to the show. Paul Wilgus, hello, Vivian, Tom Henry. I checked in and printed the boarding passes at 3.30 this morning. Paul Wilgus, hey, cool. Robert uh, Scott, hi, Bruce and all. Thumbs up. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Scott Weber, hi, Bruce. It's 60 and sunny in Palos Verdes. Just to let you know, it snowed yesterday in Malibu. <laughs> Yikes. Snowed in Malibu. Holy moly. Um, Sue Alexander, it's a horrible weather here in Atlanta. Rain, rain, rain. I only... I really want. I really only want to see ocean water in my cruise. March thirtieth. Laugh out loud. Yeah, coming. Hang in there, Sue. Hang on in there. Valerie Jones is here. Hi there. Uh, uh, sail away party on the Mariner of the Seas. She's on the Mariner at the sail away party. Fantastic. You got to tell us all about that ship. How does she look to you? They did a major renovation of her. Is it as good as they say it is? Uh, let me know, Valerie. Way to go. Thank you. Cheers to you and all your mates. On the Mariner of the Seas, Linda Lou. Hi, Scott. Cool jazz. Um, hello, Paul. The rain is giving you a send-off. Tom Henry, Cindy is here with me. Uh, boss asked her to stay for two weeks. Uh, <laughs> the boss is begging now. Now you got the boss in a begging position. What what, what are they going to do for you? What, what, what are you going to do for me? Oh, my goodness. Scott Weber. Hi, Linda Lou. Way to go, Cindy, by the way. Congratulations on telling them to stuff it. Yeah, out of there. Oh, my gosh. That is incredible. Uh, Gary is here. Uh, um, what does that say? Oh, Pirello Tour Italy Advertising. Very interesting, sir. Very interesting. Linda Lou. Wow, didn't know it snows in Southern California. Deb Guamet. Um, hi, everybody. 38 Fahrenheit. No wind and sunny. Beautiful day. Hung clothes outside on the deck. 
<laughs> gas is 227. This is Northern New York State. Uh, welcome, Deb, to the show. Graham J. Hi, Bruce, and TWB family. Uh, it's 40 here in London, Ontario. I know London, Ontario. Gas is 95 cents a liter. That's a good price. Uh, saw an ad for Regent Cruises on your channel. Fantastic, sir. Uh, I uh, spent a number of years of my childhood in um, Kitchener, Waterloo, Ontario with KW, the Twin Cities. I uh, I moved there in uh, 66 and uh, came out to uh, uh, the Western Canada in 77. So uh, I spent uh, sort of from my like around 11 years of age to about 21, 22 uh, I grew up in that area, and it is beautiful. Summertime in that region, gorgeous, just gorgeous. Cottage country, of course, fantastic. Welcome, Graham, to the show. This is great. Carl Peterson, hi, Bruce and TWB family. Carl, how you doing? Tom Henry, hi, Cool Jazz, and Paul Wilgus, Scott Weber. When it snows in Los Angeles, it's weird. Yes, it is. It's very weird when that happens. Tom Henry, are we ready? Oh, you got to be ready, Tom. You got to be ready. Uh, BC, snowy day on the West Coast. Uh, zero Celsius says BC. Uh, Tom Henry, Bruce, did your daughter have snow? I don't think so. I don't think it got that cold. She's uh, right on the uh, about a mile off the actual Pacific Ocean itself, so she's got that marine layer to protect her. Uh, the water is in what the fifties uh, sort of temperature range there, so it would take a severe front to get her. But uh, you know, in the hills around Malibu, yeah, I could snow up there. I can imagine. Uh, very interesting. Uh, Silva and hi, Bruce and all. 82 degrees Fahrenheit, sunny and light breeze in Delray Beach. Very comfortable for a cigar and an absinthe. Absinthe. Uh, Jennifer's moaning with approval. Uh, thumbs up and mash that subscribe button, everyone. Chinese takeout tonight, yay. <laughs> right on, Silva. Nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, 48 uh, so thumbs up so far. Uh, Silva. Uh, tell me, are you still looking for a uh, a, uh, a cruising buddy? Are you still looking for someone to take that cruise with you? Uh, Sylvan the other day booked a cruise on the, I think it's the, the breakaway, if I recall. And um, his uh, traveling companion had to bail. Uh, Sylvan needs, a, needs someone to travel with. It's a balcony cabin. Uh, should be nice. Uh, let me know, Sylvan, if that spot is still available. Steve McNichol, hi from Orlando. Steve, how you doing, buddy? Welcome from the beautiful city of Orlando. Beautiful people there. Paul Willigas, uh, cool jazz. I hope it clears up at least a little in the morning. Uh, my plane leaves at 710, so I'll, we'll be driving an hour and a half to the airport real early. And I don't want to have to drive in heavy rain, I guess so. Uh, but, Paul, you're, you're, you know at the end of the day where you're going to be. You're going to be in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and the next day you're on a cruise ship. This is worth the price you have to pay. Linda Lou, Chinese sounds pretty good. Uh, Scott Weber, can't wait for your cruise vlogs on YouTube. Uh, Sean uh, Langford, uh, no ad today, 48 Fahrenheit in Tennessee. Right on, Sean. Welcome. Cat Rose, 51, but feels like 53 in Sacramento, California. Thank you, Cat. Welcome aboard. Tom Henry, hi, Viv and Lim uh, and everybody. Um, uh, Linda Lou, he means. Uh, 2475 Grant. Hi, Bruce from New Jersey. How you doing, uh, 2475 Grant? Welcome to the show from the beautiful garden state of New Jersey. I'm glad you're here. Wes Morrison. Hello, Bruce. Happy Margarita Day. 61 degrees here in New Braunfels, Texas. Right on, man. Uh, Wes, that's a it's a good it's a good day when it's margarita day. Nothing wrong with that. Welcome, buddy. Kelly Haston, uh, Tom. Hope you're feeling well. Uh, you don't need you don't need you passing out in the spa. <laughs> I hope so too. Uh, Cecil Hutchins, um, uh, Hutchkins. Hiya, Bruce. We're leaving. Um, uh, was that March second on the Epic? Any update on the engines and or damage? Uh, uh, Cecil. Uh, the ship has been uh, on a five-day, uh, abbreviated five-day cruise instead of a seven-day cruise since last, uh, well, on Monday they left. Instead of last Saturday, they left Monday. They return tomorrow to uh, Port Canaveral to finish this five-day cruise. They stopped in, uh, they stopped in uh, Nassau uh, yesterday or so. Um, no, uh, no apparent issues. I've been watching uh, the Twitter feeds for any mention of any problems. No one has said a word, not a peep. All is well, apparently. The ship will come into port. Should come into port on time tomorrow and do her cruise uh, for the for its next week. And that will be the week before, I guess, you get on. You're getting on the next one, I would imagine. Uh, so, so far, so good. No um, no issues to report on the Epic. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye on it. But uh, so far, all seems calm. Steaming Bean, uh, my ad today is iDate. 
steamer. Uh, they're trying to someone's trying to set you up with some a company up there uh, in northern Saskatchewan. Very interesting, sir. Welcome to the show. Uh, cool jazz. Uh, what's the forecast, Paul Wilgus? Will it stop? Uh, Sylvan, no mosquitoes here ever. Uh, this is why we don't ever harm the little lizards skittering around here. Uh, flux capacitors, unreliable. You, you'd be, be better off with the lithium, dilithium crystals. <laughs> yes, but but has that been invented yet? That's the thing. I you know I take the flux capacitor machine, go to the future, get the dilithium crystals, bring them back, and then I've got that to use, I suppose. But yeah, you know, uh, even new technology can be unreliable, I suppose. Deb Gouman, Valerie Jones, I hope you have a wonderful cruise. Linda Lou Steamer, you are are you looking for dates? Laugh out loud. Um, Paul Wilgus, Cool Jazz, no stopping until uh, Sunday. Uh, hope it's uh, uh, hope it lets up some and doesn't delay my flight. Right on, uh, cool jazz, Tom Henry. Please tell Cindy happy birthday for me. Sylvan Forest, Red Bubble ad just played. Very interesting. Cool jazz, uh, Paul Wugus. Just give yourself enough time. Are you leaving your car at the airport? Question mark. Cat Rose, one stressful thing done. Uh, Tom Henry, thanks, cool jazz. Uh, Johnny Witt, uh, hi Bruce and all. Hey Johnny, how you been? It's been a while. Welcome back, buddy. Uh, Sylvia, just checking in to give my thumbs up and wishing safe travels to Tom and Paul. You two have a great time on your cruise and have fun zip lining. Uh, cold and raining in Greensboro, North Carolina, waiting for flooding tonight. Oh, my, 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 Sylvia. Just, just never, you, the fun never stops in Greensboro. I'll tell you that. Dale Betts is here in the house from St. Catharines, Ontario. It's two degrees Celsius. Dale, welcome from beautiful St. Catharines. Uh, Cousin of mine, uh, my one of my favorites, uh, lived just outside of where you were. He played junior B hockey in St. Catharines as a, a teenager. He lived in the Niagara Falls region on a farm where they grew all the beautiful fruits, the strawberries, the peaches, the pears, the plums, the apples, everything. Woof, man, that, that farm was on rich, rich farmland. Beautiful area down there. Larry Blake, I got new. I got a new ad. Perry Golf Cruise. Mm, that's interesting. Larry, welcome. Sylvia Swan, hi there, cool jazz. Uh, Valerie Jones, thank you, Dad, uh, Deb. Uh, Herbert um, Hilliker, hi Bruce. First time here, Detroit, Michigan. Gas two thirty nine. Welcome, Herbert, to my show and channel from beautiful Detroit, Michigan. Uh, you guys have got the best state highways in all of America. Uh, come come summertime, there are no no highways prettier than Detroit, Michigan, or De Michigan in general, the state up. But welcome from Detroit, my man. Thank you for joining me and this show. Uh, you are welcome to come by and hang out with us. This is great. Paul, look at us. Cool, Jess. Yes, I am. It's only $6 a day, so worth uh, driving myself. So it's 6 bucks a day to park the car at the airport. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's a good deal. 42 bucks for the week. That's a good deal. Uh, Paul, look at us. Cool, Jess. Yes, I am. Uh, Gary is here. Hi from uh, IA. Uh, Gary, uh, IA, is that Iowa? Uh, it's not Indiana. Illinois is uh, IL. IA, is that Iowa? Uh, I'm trying to figure it out. Gary, welcome. What, what town are you from? Paul Wilson. Hello, Bruce and everyone. Cool, Jess. Hello, Sylvia. Be careful. Paul Wilgus. Hi, Sylvia. Deb Gomet, Valerie Jones, where are you headed? Uh, Mary LaFontaine. Hi, Bruce. I am from Florida, and our high today was 84. <laughs> You're killing me. You're just killing me. Uh, price of gas, 225 a gallon. Mary, welcome from Florida where it's 84 degrees where you live. It's not bad in the middle of February. Pretty darn nice. Welcome, my dear. I'm glad you're here, too. Uh, uh, here's a new one. Smushy Mom. I love this handle. Smushy Mom is here. Uh, I'm Mary. Hi, Mary. New subscriber. Welcome. Uh, from Milwaukee. Uh, can't complain about any of that. How about, how about that? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, welcome, Mary, to the show, my channel. Welcome as a new subscriber. Uh, this is absolutely wonderful. I'm glad you're here. I hope you're enjoying my live show. Hope you're enjoying my videos. Uh, this is good stuff. If you have any questions about anything, just let me know. Uh, Steamer, uh, Linda Lou saying, welcome, Hebert. Uh, Steamer, I do not, uh, what is that? Uh, I do not condone, I think is what he wanted to say, what the sea cruisers have done, but sea scammers is like a dog with a bone. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah, there are a few up uh, there, things going on out there, and they're not all that pleasant, are they? Uh, what can I say? Sylvan, gas was 215.9 a gallon today. That's not a bad price. Uh, gas, what's what the price of a barrel now? In the 50s again, it's gone up a little bit. Cool Jazz, uh, okay, that's real cheap, Paul. Here, 20 bucks a day to park. Yeah, six bucks a day versus 20. Unbelievable. Um, Deb Gomet, I agree, Steamer. Uh, she's totally on your side there. Sean Langford, 
listening while driving home, much better program than what I can get on the radio. <laughs> right on. Well, I have a face for radio, Sean. I can tell you right now, uh, you're probably getting the most out of my show by just listening and not having to look at this mug talk on you. Gotcha. Welcome, my, my good man. Thank you. Uh, uh, Mary, new subscriber from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 33 degrees Fahrenheit here in Milwaukee. Gas is 240 a gallon. Question, how do you know if a ship is coming out of dry dock? How do you know if a ship is coming out of dry dock? Now, that's a darn good question. Um, let me think a minute about this because uh, I was going to think about this. Uh, you kind of have to know when it's going into dry dock. But, I, okay, here's one way to figure it out. Okay. Um, I'm not sure about how solid this is, but something that I do. Uh, when I go to this website called vacationstogo.com that I keep talking about that should be sponsoring me, but isn't, uh, I just thought I'd just throw that in there. Um, what I find is uh, if I see a cruise that interests me, um, I'll see, you know, a one-week cruise, Caribbean, whatever, on the cruise line, such and such. Here's the name of the ship. I'll, I'll click on the name of the ship because if I do that, it the, the Vacations to Go website then highlights that cruise ship for me. And it tells me the year it was built and the last year it was refurbished. Uh -huh. So once I know the year it was last refurbished, that's when my mathematics starts to kick in. Because today is 2019. If it says that the ship was built in 2010 and the last refurbishment was 2014, that's five years. It is either due to go in or it's just been done. Now, one way to figure out uh, whether it's still due to go in, well, maybe, maybe, maybe not. I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out here. What you do is you, uh, you uh, go back to the cruise of that ship. You can then look up through, again, vacationstogo.com. You can look up every cruise for just that ship for the next two years. And if you notice that uh, chronologically it's in right now the Bahamas or, you know, Caribbean region. And uh, the last cruise you can find is, is like goes to April 30, and it's done in May the 6th or something like that. And the next cruise that you can take on that cruise ship is June 15th. There's a gap. That means it's going into dry dock at that point in time because it makes sense. It's been five years. Um, however, if it was just in dry dock last month, and it should say the last dry dock was 2019, not 2014, unless the cruise line is behind the time, you know, to, unless the vacation to go is late in updating us. It can happen in a week or two. Um, other ways to try to figure it out, um, I would probably uh, do a Google search on the ship itself, uh, the name of the ship, do a Google, Google search on it, and then enter the word dry dock behind it and see what comes up because you may find that there is a uh, an article may have been written by one of the many many blogs that are out there or blogs that that talk about refurbishment or it could have been the cruise line itself is bragging about the fact that this ship has been in for dry dock and they just spent you know 35 million or 65 million to refurbish it and they'll highlight all the new features of the ship that's a way to know whether or not it was just in dry dock. Other way to do it is if you're doing your booking through a travel agent, you talk to your travel agent and say, hey, listen, I'm trying to figure out whether this ship that I'm thinking of going on um, either is about to go into dry dock or has just come out of dry dock. Uh, let me know. And the, uh, the agent then can make inquiries through the cruise line as an agent. They can go right to their, right to the cruise line directly and talk right to the booking department at the cruise line, and they can get the, the answer right away. Those are my guesses. Those are my my uh, my quick suggestions, right off the top of my head. Under pressure, uh, I'll do the best I can. <laughs> uh, welcome, uh, welcome, Mary from Milwaukee. I'm so glad you're here. This is great. Uh, Sylvia, cool. Not going swimming tonight. Too too wet out and cold. Going home after drinks with coworkers. <laughs> Tom Henry, I have some work on payroll to do tomorrow. Luckily, the office is on the way to the airport and only six miles away. I plan to be at the airport by about 1230 for a three o'clock flight. Right on top. Deb Gomet, uh, Smushy Mom, you ask Bruce. Uh, you just ask him. Uh, Duke1738 uh, at Gmail. What's with the uh, Norwegian cruise ship? What's with the Norwegian cruise ship? Well, Duke, uh, I think they have 16 of them. 
at least 16. Which one are you referring to? Are you referring to the Epic? Because I did talk about that already on the show. You probably saw me. We're talking about it. But if there's one in particular you want me to talk about, let me know. I'll do what I can. Tom Henry, welcome to our family newbies. Uh, that's right. Cool Jazz, have a drink for me. Also says Cool Jazz. Margie Chadwick, I like purple. Oh, you like this shirt. You love the purple. Isn't it great? It's a nice color. Uh, thank you. Uh, Sylvan, much as I hate to admit it, uh, C Scammer is just as entertaining as Peer Runners. All the more reason to remain clean. Uh, this channel is clean, and that's why I return here daily. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. We try to run a PG show here. Absolutely. Uh, Dev Gourmet, Smushy Mum. Oops, I forgot to welcome you. Let's see. There, there. Where are our manners? Welcome, one and all, all the newbies. Cat Rose, I like it here. Uh, Steamer, uh, C Scammers had a short self, self shelf life. Now it's... Um, um, mundane and boring i think is what he's saying oh interesting um britney lockwood hi bruce hi britney how you doing darling uh, from louisiana sylvia cool i have a double ready laughing out loud tom henry let me check behind your ear sylvan uh cool jazz hello deb how are you uh bc cool jazz i watch a couple uh boac videos looks good sylvia uh, hello there tom uh how you doing uh, Brittany? my interview went awesome this morning with disney right she's trying to get into the disney program here uh, I hope that went really well for you. Uh, we're crossing our fingers, Brittany. You keep us posted on this one. Tom Henry, hi, Sylvia Catrose. That is nice. Uh, Margie, I finally got my deposit paid for a Carnival Fantasy for July. I'm so excited. Right on, Margie. It's going to happen. Sylvia, hello. Uh, hello there, Paul. Uh, Linda Lou, way to go, Brittany. Deb Gwimet, we like you here also, Cat Rose. Tom Henry, uh, super, Brittany. Well done. BC, Brittany, how was the interview? Uh, Cat Rose, woohoo, Brittany. Deb Gwimet, awesome, Brittany. Brittany, the interview was Awesome. Linda Lou, I totally agree, Kat. This channel is awesome. Great people here, aren't there? They're just great folks here. Love it. Cool jazz. Uh, BC, that's great. Did you see the, the, uh, the XL? Uh, he's talking one to the other. Sylvan, Brittany, I wish you the best of success for your interview. Tom Henry, Paul Lucas, I received four emails from NCL today. No upgrades for us. Laugh out loud. We will have to settle for our suite. <laughs> You're just going to have to rough it in the suite, you poor buggers. Uh, way to go. Carl Peterson, Brittany, glad your interview went well. Good luck. Uh, Sylvia, Linda, Lou, hello. Sylvan Forrest, poor Tom, stuck in a suite. Stiff upper lip, upper and enjoy. Just tough, tough it out, Tom. Just tough it out. Send us photos on the uh, group page. That should be great. Another reason why you want to become part of the uh, Traveling with Bruce uh, group page on Facebook, because Tom Henry posts photos of his suite on the ship. You get to travel with him. It's awesome. I love it. Thank you, man. Can't wait to see these photos. Carl Peterson, Brittany, glad your interview went well. Good luck. Uh, Sylvia, Sylvia, uh, Sylvia saying hello, uh, Linda Lou. Uh, Sylvan Forrest, poor, poor Tom. Paul Wilgus, laughing out loud, Tom. I think I can live with that. Steamer, Brittany, what was your interview for? Scott Weber, I want to cruise to Tahiti right now. I want to go right there. It's so darn cold here in Southern California. So, Mr. Weber, I'm with you there. Uh, Linda Lou, uh, hi, Sylvia. Cool jazz. Tom Henry, Mardi Gras is sailing from New York. 15 days, September 2020. Linda Lou, Tidy is my ultimate cruise. Uh, BC, Cool Jazz, I watch a couple of arrival videos coming into uh, Heathrow. Paul Lucas, Bruce, did you hear about the lifeboat fire on the Jewel? And they also have an outbreak of norovirus. Paul, I read something. Uh, I think Somebody posted something about this. I haven't found any info on it on any vlog anywhere. So it's really more of a probably a Scott Singer kind of an update thing. Uh, but yeah, isn't that that crazy? That that's just that's a silly cruise he's on. It's just a wacky cruise from a construction cruise to this nonsense. I don't know what to make of it. Scott Weber, a cruise from LA to Tahiti is my dream, says Scott. Tom Henry, Cool Jazz, Cindy was on the old Mardi Gras, but no carnival, no, no carnival in our plans, in our future plans. A uh, Cool Jazz, uh, okay, BC. I'll watch more tomorrow. There's a live show. Not sure of the time. Linda Lou figured I would never get a cruise mate to Tahiti. I guess it's just too expensive. Catherine, uh, hi, everybody. Hi, Catherine. Cool jazz. Okay, Tom. Scott Weber. Hi, Catherine. Uh, Linda Lou, number one on my bucket list. Glenn Edinburgh from Brisbane. Hi, Bruce and all uh, from the TWB team. Welcome. 30 degrees Celsius here today in Brisbane. Guess what? A Saturday morning here. And again, a bit seedy after beers last night. Again, laugh out loud. <laughs> uh, Glenn, you know. What are you going to do? Uh, you you, 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 you got to taste the beer to make sure it's safe. And you can't just taste one. So, you know, you're doing a service for all mankind. I appreciate that. We all appreciate that. Welcome, my friend from Brisbane. And uh, 30 degrees Celsius, the record continues the streak of consecutive days with at least 30 degrees Celsius or hotter every day. Unbelievable. In the loo. Hi, Catherine. Cool jazz. Yeah, Tom Henry, he can take his two kids. Tom Henry, a Sylvan. 
Nice cabin, just no balcony, so the upgrades were for balcony suites. Ah, right on. Sylvan Forest, bummer. Cat Rose, it's nuts. Tom Henry, cool. Whose two kids are you talking about? Catherine, uh, great for uh, Amy, uh, laughing out loud. Great for Amy. Uh, cool Jazz, you're, uh, uh, you're at Tom Henry. You're, you're taking one now. <laughs> They get one kid with them. Paul Lucas, uh, Linda Lou, ads are so misleading. She sent Deb um, Gumet, hey, Cool Jazz, somehow a large chunk of snow found itself across my driveway. Must have begun thawing and then froze again last night. Solid ice, two feet by three feet by three feet. Couldn't get out since Wednesday. Daughter helped. Isn't that something? That's crazy. Glenn Edinburgh, the discounts are not as good as the cruise lines make, uh, make it out that they are. They think the cruise customers are stupid. I, I, I think they're they're thinking we're either dumb or we're so short. Um, our attention spans are so short that we'll skip over all the small stuff and just just hit the button and say, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then we get the shock of our lives when we see the bill. Kind of crazy. Uh, Cat Rose, yipes, Deb. Uh, Peter Heckema, hi, Bruce and all. 83 degrees in Tarpon Springs, Florida. Listening on the boat today. Have a great weekend, everybody. Peter in Tampa, down in the Tampa area. Have a great weekend too, buddy. Uh, enjoy. Thanks for joining me and listening in on the radio today. Wonderful. One of our, one of my uh, most loyal of loyal followers. Love Peter Heckema. Welcome, buddy. Cool jazz. Uh, oh my God, Deb. Maybe your neighbor dropped it off. Punishment for being away two weeks. <laughs> you went on a cruise without me. Here's something for you. Oh my gosh, no. Uh, Tom Henry. I have no kids. That's how we have money to cruise. <laughs> <laughs> and by art, uh, wondering what kind of cruise uh, Park West will offer us. Tahiti would be great, or West Coast to Hawaii, or on Princess. That'd be kind of nice. Right on, Tom. So you'll let us know. Uh, Sylvan Forest, pull, pull the kids out of school. Uber bad idea. No wonder little Johnny, 10 years old, reads at a grade two level on a good day. There's a, there's a teacher talking right there. Right on. Linda Liu, oh, sounds wonderful, Tom. Princess all the way. Glenn Edinburgh, cruising in Australia is going off. It is so popular. So the pricing now reflects as prices are much more than they were, say, five years ago. So, yeah, cruising in Australia is taking off big time. Very popular. Uh, cruise lines are bringing in larger ships now to handle the market because they're getting advanced bookings that are taking the ships right to maximum capacity. Very popular. Cecil Hutchins, uh, I like VTG, Vacations to Go, also, but you might want to compare it to Cruise 411. There's a suggestion. Something to look into. Thank you, Cecil. Nathaniel Brown, I use uh, them. I just booked a balcony on Symphony of the Seas for this December 2019. Right on, Nathaniel. Welcome, my man, to the show. I'm glad you're here. Cat Rose, I think they should sponsor you. I think you're right. Um, cool, Jazz. Thought you were adopting Paul and I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Deb Gomez, it's okay. Part of living in the Northeast, Paul was in Massachusetts with his mom, 90 and not doing too well. I was so grateful for my daughter's help. Linda Lou, wow, Nathaniel, that's nice, Nathaniel. And they do military discounts. They do uh, offer that. They offer all kinds of discounts on vacationsgo.com. They'll ask you, I would not ask you, are you part of the military? Are you part of the police service? Are you a fireman? Are you an EMT? Are you uh, all kinds of classifications? You get discounts. Uh, that's one of the things I like about them as well. Tom Henry, someone posted breakaway cruises this Saturday and next for two hundred ninety nine bucks seven day cruise. Wonder what the fine print for that is uh, that offer. I think the the fine print is they forgot the one. <laughs> Twelve ninety nine. Maybe they forgot that. I don't know. Maybe it's two ninety nine for every two days. I I, I don't know. Uh, seven day cruise, but this is for every two days. I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the two ninety nine for seven day cruise. There is no such thing as a two ninety nine seven seven-day cruise. There just, there just isn't. By the time you get taxes and port charges and tipping and all the other surcharges, there is no way. Uh, but anyway, it, it, that's what they do. That's what they're doing to try to catch our eye and get us to at least take a look. Cat Rose, Deb, I escaped the Northeast 12 years ago. Linda Lou, Princess, give on board credit for military. Right on. Florida Lifestyle Team is here. Hi, Bruce and the TWB family. It's 84 degrees in Orlando today. This heat and humidity is horrible and breaking records. Gas is two eighty nine for premium. That's expensive been, uh, for premium, but what are you going to do? Welcome, Florida Lifestyle Team, brokered by EXP Realty. Uh, welcome to the show. Glad you're here. Uh, Glenn Edinburgh, the, uh, the six uh, to $700 price for a seven-day cruise is no more. We lo we're looking at 800 to 1100 now. That's the normal around here. Isn't that amazing? Uh, Wendy Thompson, oh, Brittany, I hope you get it. For Disney, hope you get that. Cool jazz. Hope she feels better soon, Deb. Uh, Tom Henry laughing out loud. 
Deb, good man. Uh, cool jazz. Uh, laugh out loud. I think I fell off the snowbank when the plow went past the, the night we got that last inch of snow. <laughs> It fell off the snowbank. Oh, okay. Uh, Nathaniel, yep, uh, uh, yep, um, um, uh, Lin, uh, Linda Lou, I think he agrees. Uh, let's see here, uh, in, in the, whatever. BC, cool jazz, the Mardi Gras New York City 2020, would that be the cruise ship terminal up to Hudson at about 65th, or is there another terminal uh, he's wondering about? Tom Henry, we were going to have uh, – we're going to have Robert Brandt adopt this. That's what we're going to do. We're going to try to get our brand to adopt it. Florida, uh, congrats, Brittany Lockwood. You got this. Go happy. Uh, go happy. You feel good about it. Uh, we will uh, have to meet in person when you do the uh, DCP, Disney College Program. Uh, cool Jazz, uh, BC, about 52nd Street, apparently, is where this is. Uh, Bethany, uh, Beth, no, Bethan, Bethan Matty uh, Ram Charan is here. Uh, good work, sir. I enjoy your show. Uh, Beth and Matthew, uh, thank you. I try as hard as I can to get the names right. <laughs> Welcome to the show today for Friday. Deb Gwimet, Cool Jazz. Uh, the last storm was when we uh, we were gone. Our son came. Our son came and used the snowblower to clear the driveway and sidewalks. I am grateful. Uh, uh, Terrence Shaw. Hello, Bruce. Can you explain what a blackout date is? What is a blackout date? Uh, Terrence. Um, I'm going to guess that if a, a cruise line is offering, say, a cruise from, say, March the 3rd to March the 10th, and then they're offering a cruise from March the 15th to the March 22nd, and there's nothing in between, that's a blackout date, and it's possible that that ship has been chartered, the private charter. Maybe a corporate entity took the whole ship for the whole five days, and it's not open to the public. Um, a blackout date would be like, uh, for example, uh, Who's doing that concert? Uh, bon Jovi. Bon Jovi is taking over uh, uh, two Norwegian cruise ships one week at a time, uh, one for a Caribbean cruise, one for a cruise in the Mediterranean this year for uh, concerts. And Bon Jovi has arranged to, to perform with his group, but then has arranged a whole bunch of other acts to appear throughout the entire cruise. So th those are two cruises where the public can't call Norwegian to get on. The public has to literally contact Bon Jovi's uh, concert division, his his booking company, to book a cruise on on those ships. But they're incredibly expensive. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, you know if you're a diehard Bon Jovi fan, it's priceless. It doesn't matter. If you remember, like myself, uh, you're not going to find me on there. But uh, that's what a blackout date would likely be about. Um, BC Cool Jazz, close to the Aircraft Carrier Museum, is where that uh, terminal is that you're talking about for that ship. Um, watching from Trinidad, says Beth and Matty. Uh, watching, welcome from Trinidad. Fantastic. Linda Lou, I wish I could be with you all on Facebook, but I don't trust them. There you go. Tom Henry, I hope I don't forget where I put myself in the morning. Cat uh, Rose, what do you think about the non-mainstream lines. What do you think about the non-mainstream lines? Well, uh, there are some folks who swear by them and there are others who swear off of them. So, you know, it goes either way. Um, but uh, each has its advantages. Obviously, the mainstream lines have got such, you know, power, economic power that they're going to be around a long time. If you're booking on a boutique cruise line uh you're a year out will the line still be in business a year from now well if it's been around 20 30 40 years probably if it's a, an upstart we don't know now an upstart like virgin voyages hardly underfunded they're well funded they got four ships under you know eventually online one ship being built now a second ship under construction the number three number four will come behind it so virgin voyages will survive a boutique line like Pona uh, from France seems to be well funded. Um, uh, uh, boutique line like um, like Ritz Carlton, um, you know, hardly a, no, a non known name. Uh, I'm sure Ritz Carlton voyages will be uh, around for quite some time. Uh, I would say that if 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 if, uh, if uh, Ritz Carlton's cruise line division doesn't do well then they would be absorbed by another line. Might be another boutique line, a small or smaller line, might be by one of the big boys. But uh, if you're on a if you're looking on a looking to go on a cruise where the cruise line has two or three ships only, and the ships are 20 to 45 years old each one. 
there's advantages and disadvantages, I guess, to their survival. Their survival, as far as advantages go, is they don't have to. They don't have billion dollar loans against brand new cruise ships. They're, they if they even have any bank loans out at all, they're on a, uh, on an older vessel. So it would be a very small you know, amount of money that they would owe on them. And most likely, today, most likely case for these smaller boutique lines is they own their own craft. They own the ships outright. Now. The trick of it, of course, is if you're going to book yourself a cruise on a boutique cruise line, a non-mainstream line, and it's a 40-year-old cruise ship, you've got to ask yourself, what is the reliability of the vessel? Um, how reliable has it been in the last year going forward on your cruise? Are you going to run into a problem? Um, but uh, you're likely going to be going to much smaller ports, much more intimate settings for your port stops. That could be an advantage. Um, the other thing, too, I would imagine is that if you're dealing with a smaller ship, a uh, you know, smaller size vessel, older vessel, non-mainstream cruise line, the, 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 the itinerary that you're booking probably isn't that big of an itinerary as far as distance goes. Let's say, for example, you're, you're cruising in uh, Europe. You might leave from Southampton. But you might only go to uh, Dublin and to uh, Belfast and Liverpool. And then back to Southampton. It might be, you know, pretty close in cruise. You're not going to be in the middle of the Atlantic on a 45 year old cruise ship. That kind of idea. You know what I mean? So uh, each has its, uh, you know, pluses and minuses. Obviously, with with a cruise line like uh, like like Norwegian or or Carnival or, or Royal Caribbean, it can happen that even a relatively new ship can have mechanical problems. These are mechanical beasts of burden. And like we saw with uh, Norwegian. And the Jade, uh, you know, a nine, 10 day Thanksgiving Day cruise lasts two days and the ship limps into San Juan, Puerto Rico. And two days after it gets into port, everyone is off the ship and they're on airplanes back to the USA. And that ship was, you know, built in 2000 and whatever, five or six, um, you know, not that old of a ship, certainly not 40 years old, uh, barely, barely 15 years. So it can happen that even on a mainline cruise line, Things can go awry, but um, smaller cruise lines, uh, those have been around a long time. They're probably okay to go. Um, would make for a unique experience. Certainly would be a bit of a time warp with some of these older ships, but then that's part of the charm of it. So it has its ups, it has its downs. Uh, Tom Henry, BC, right next to it. Uh, cool Jazz, good to have the kids. Deb, wait till he finds out you're spending the inheritance. Uh, Scott Weber, for non-mainstream line, try, try some luxury lines. Cat Rose, yeah. Catrice Lewis is here, Philadelphia. Hello, Catrice. Welcome to the show from Philly. Nathaniel, what up, Bruce? How are you doing, Nathaniel? Um, cool Jazz, yep, BC. Where are you at? Also, uh, Lisa Bate. Hi from Phoenix, Arizona. Lisa, welcome from Phoenix, where it is cool and rainy and yucky. It's just not been nice in Phoenix lately, has it? When are you getting that warm weather you're supposed to be getting? Uh, oh, my goodness. Welcome, Lisa, to my show. Um, you know, if you if you stuck inside, you might as well hang out with Bruce. We'll travel with Bruce. Uh, Richard Quinnell, uh, Blaineville, Quebec, Canada. Great job, Richard Quinnell. Welcome to the show. Thank you for your kind words. Glad you are here too, Catherine Hennessy. I remember as a child, you could bring guests on board for the sail away party. That's right. Well, the transatlantic cruises that was not uncommon where you could get on board the ship with your relatives and wish them all well, go to their cabin and see what their cabin looks like and walk around the ship with them and be there for the sail away party. And then off you go. And then only the passengers continue. Can't do that anymore. No, 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 no. Can't do that anymore. Randy Bender, one below Celsius and snowing in Vancouver. Randy, that's outlawed. That's not allowed by city council snow. Unbelievable. Randy, welcome to the show uh, for a Friday afternoon. I'm glad you're here. BC Cool Jazz, Vancouver, BC. Are you in New York? Uh, Verna Benz, hi from Rochester, Minnesota. 20 degrees. Welcome, Verna, to my show. Glad you're here, too. Say so is here. First state is Delaware. Thank you for telling me. Someone finally told me the number one state is Delaware. Ah, you see, Washington wrote across the Delaware. Is that why? I, I don't know. Welcome, my friend, uh, to the show. Thank you for helping me out. Lisa? Loves to watch slots is here. Lisa loves to watch slots. Hi from Fort Wayne, Indiana. Cloudy and 37 degrees. Gas is 245 a gallon. Laugh out loud. Lisa, welcome to the show. Welcome to my channel. This is great. A bunch of newbies here today. All week we've had a whole bunch of new folks joining in. Love it. Welcome from Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's great. 
Tom Henry, we are thinking Delaware is the first state. Uh, Curtis Lee, what cruise line came first, Royal or Carnival or Norwegian, and when? Ah, see, there's a good question. I know that Carnival started off around 1960-ish, 61, something like that. Um, Norwegian was an established line way back when in Europe. Uh, Royal, I do not know uh, exact dates. I don't have that off the top of my head. Alan Smith, Delaware is the first state. John LeBeau, same here with Facebook, Linda Lou. Brittany, I could be moving to Florida as soon as May. You could be, Brittany, uh, crossing our fingers here. Verna Benz, I didn't hear that website for finding cruises. Uh, vacations to go.com. That's what it's called, vacations to go.com. Deb, I remember Cat Rose uh, Schenectady, right? Uh, you were the first one to reach out to me when I first joined the TWB family. I really appreciated it. It was my first time chatting, still learning. Welcome, one and all. Vivian, uh, oh, Ty, Alan, is what she's saying. Cool Jazz, yes, BC. Uh, Cat Rose, yes, Deb. Uh, Florida Lifestyle, Brittany Lockwood, my name is Catherine. We will have to meet you when you get to Disney. Uh, Steve Berg, hey, Bruce, and everybody, hope you had a good Friday. 27 degrees in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and we're expecting more snow for Saturday and Sunday. Oh, goody, no ad today. <laughs> Hang in there, Steve. It's perfect hockey weather. That's what it is. It's hockey watching weather. What can I say? Up here in Canada right now, what's on national television right now? Women's curling. That's what's on national TV on our number one sports network, Women's the Scotty Tournament of Hearts. It is the show to watch. Morning, noon, and night. Women's curling. Oh, my goodness. What can I say? Steve McNichol, Orlando, 86 degrees. Uh, the ad was from Pluto TV. I've got the AC cranking right now. Yeah, 86. I would bet you do. Cat Rose, Tucson, Arizona. Got snow. Oh, my gosh. Arizona's just getting hit. Joe Dell Haverfield. Uh, Joe Dell, warm in Florida. Bruce, don't discourage people from calling their travel agents by sending them to vacations to go.com. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm really not trying to do that. What I am trying to say is you're just trying to get a handle on what's going on. And you just want to see what the pricing looks like. You can just launch around with your little mouse, play with vacations to go.com for hours. And then when you narrow it down to your favorite cruises, now you pick up the phone. Now either you can either call vacations to go.com or you can call your local travel agent, uh, whichever you want to go. Yes, indeed, Jodell, that can be done. Welcome to the show. <laughs> but I'm not trying to be a rabble rouser, honest. Cat Rose, snow in LA, unbelievable. BC, Tom Henry, thanks. Scott Weber, yeah, in Wonderland Hills, Woodland Hills, in Woodland Hills, Scott Weber saying. Dimitri Fadoff, based on your recommendation, I compared Norwegian price with vacations to go.com and found the price to be identical. Uh, did you ever see the difference in price? I have seen differences, but I've also seen identical. It's true. I'm not saying that it is the absolute number one place to get the best deal of all time. What I do personally is I'll check vacations to go.com, then I'll find a cruise I like, then I'll go to the uh, cruise lines website and I'll check what they're offering the same cruise at. How much are they asking for? That's what I. That's how I do things myself. When I want to book, then I'll I'll talk to either the person at the cruise line, or I'll talk to Vacations to Go, or I'll talk to both of them. I'll talk to one and then the other. I take notes and find out if there's any other hidden charges or hidden benefits or or upgrade opportunities that one doesn't show, or the other one does show. I. That's what I do. That's how I try to stay on top of things. Thank you for that comment, Dimitri. Very well done, uh, Tom Henry. A Sylvan Forest. Did Bonnie call you today? Uh, Sylvan, I have a nice prospect for my getaway cruise. Will I will order a sextant shirt when I confirm that cruise? Can't sail without a sextant shirt. Right on, Sylvan. You keep me posted. Tom Henry Kelly, I will be careful in the spa. Wendy Thompson, way to go, Cindy. Um, Deb Guimet, cool jazz, thanks, but that's not the case. Uh, I'm a hospice trained volunteer, and it's tough watching a patient's relatives dealing with the imminent. Uh, when it, it is it your own family, it's so much more difficult. I uh, totally agree, Deb. I hear what you're saying. Felicia Phillips, good evening, Bruce. Felicia, welcome. How are you? Cool jazz, for sure, Deb. Uh, Smushy Mom, Mary. Yes, IA is Iowa. So I, I got that right. Right on, Iowa. Um, wasn't Radar from Iowa, from MASH? He was from Iowa, wasn't he? I can't remember the name of the city, though. Uh, Felicia Phillips, hey, from Fort Lauderdale, currently 81. Uh, 228 for gas. Felicia, that's uh, pretty darn nice. Where to go? Scott Weber, IA is Iowa. Y Yvette Escobar, hi, from New Jersey. 24 degrees, 229 for gas. Yvette, welcome to my show as well. 
First timer, I think, fantastic. Glad you're here too. Cat Rose, that is cool. Gary uh, Brooks, uh, Brooksworth, uh, Iowa is IA. Cedar Rapids, 33 degrees with storm coming tonight until Sunday. Gas is 2.11 a gallon. Right on, Gary. Thank you for that. Welcome to the channel from the beautiful state of Iowa. Scott Weber, for a ship coming out of dry dock, uh, Google it. Uh, you'll see results from the dry dock schedule. That's that's what I recommend too. Good plan. Um, thank you, Bruce. Says Smushy Mo. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Debbie Manuel. Hi, Bruce and everybody. Commercial was for Pluto TV. Sunny but chilly, mid 50s in Northern California. She's in Chico, California, and premium is 3.30 a gallon at Arco in California, and that sounds about normal. Debbie, welcome to the show. I hope work isn't driving you crazy today. Uh, welcome to the show. Sylvia, Debbie Emanuel, how are you doing? Linda Lou, price, uh, prices I get on Princess are always lower than vacations to go prices, admitting Dimitri. Interesting, interesting. Felicia, on Carnival website, where can I find out the square footage of rooms on the Carnival website? That's a good question. Uh, I'm not sure. I would think, though, that if you're um, – you would probably see tabs where they have our ships. You click on that. You'll find the name of the ship you want. You click on that, and they'll show deck plans, and then you might be able to dig into actual cabins, and they'll show you the sizing of the rooms with some imagery and a map from the top, like an image from the top. Give you an idea what a room will look like. John LeBeau, fingers crossed. Brittany, for you, we're, we're waiting. Deb Gouimet, Paul, thanks. North Carolina or Delaware might be the first state. Massachusetts is not a state. It's a commonwealth, as is Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Kentucky. See, what do I know? I'm just, I'm from Canada. I'm from way up here. I don't really have to know this stuff. I really, I shouldn't really have to know that, but we kind of know a lot about what's going on down there. We do watch it. Brittany, my interview was for Disney College Program. Right on, Brittany. Cat Rose, one thing I noticed about how the new Virgin cruise ship, uh, no mention of elevators or ac accessibility. Um, yeah, they haven't got to that yet, but they will, I'm sure. Cool Jazz, First States, Delaware. Scott Weber, I love my cabin with a balcony, and the bigger the balcony, the better. Tom Henry, hi, Debbie. How you doing? Deb Gomet, uh, thanks, Cool Jazz. Cat Rose, we need more cruises based out of the West Coast. Uh, Scott Weber, Cat Rose, we need more cruise-friendly ports in California and maybe the Oregon coast. I think that would be a money maker. Well, uh, as long as you can guarantee the cruise line year-round or seasonal uh, performance, uh, you might get their business. But... Right now, Seattle, they're dropping major money to expand their port. Uh, $340 million over the next couple of years is being spent by the Port of Seattle. They did over a million passengers last year. I think they're gunning for $2 million plus, ultimately. Uh, Vancouver, British Columbia can't hold a candle to Seattle's investment. Uh, of course, Vancouver, British Columbia has problems with so many environmentalists running that town, running so many policies of B.C. government. You can't raise a finger in Vancouver without a permit. It's really difficult. Uh, Portland, I don't know. Um, it's inland a bit in the, you know, on Columbia River. I, I don't know if that would work. The rest of Oregon, I'm not sure where you'd set up a port. You have to have an international airport nearby to bring passengers in and out of. Um, so I'm not sure if that would work. But, uh, you know, time will tell. Uh, we shall see. This business is a growing business for sure. Uh, Kat Rose says, me too. Glenn Edinburgh, oh, 266 days till my repo, repositioning Singapore Sydney cruise, Voyager of the Seas, will be only a month from the amped up refurbishment. Cannot wait. Right on. There'll be a month after the refurbishment. That will be a nice fresh looking ship for sure, Glenn. Dimitri, NCL breakaway on March 3rd for $349 per person total with taxes, $986 for two for sail away inside. Awesome deal. Just confirmed that that's a good price. That's a really good price. That's not that old a ship either. A BC Brittany, how long is the Disney College program? Jorge Marrero. Marrero. Hi, Bruce, from the good island of Puerto Rico. True about cruise discounts. Same cruise to Aruba, same month, two year difference, $900 more. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> John Lebeau, I was checking out Alaskan cruises with um, DCL in 2020. The furthest they go out is May 2020. All the rest of the cruise lines go out as far as 2021. What's up with that? Uh, well, uh, certain cruise lines won't uh, release uh, schedules. Uh, certain booking agencies don't want to go that far out. I, I don't. I can't answer it more than that. Just a quirk in the system, I suppose, or how some people do business. 
Deb Gourmet, awesome sounding cruise, Dimitri. Where is it out of? That's a great price, Dimitri. New Orleans, I've just been on it this month. Great cruise, just refurbished, so it feels very fresh. Bruce, what is your opinion about reducing or declining to pay gratuities? Well, uh, my personal personal belief, I like to prepay the gratuities. I, I prepay them before I even get on the ship, and I just leave it. It's out of mind, out of sight. It's not going to show up on my bill. I don't have to worry about it at checkout time. Um, if I've done it three months ago, it's all the pain has been paid for, and that's the end of it. Um, but uh, if I get uh, you know service above and beyond uh, from certain members of the cat the crew, uh, I'm not adverse to paying uh, making a tip uh, payment as well, uh, uh, cash cash tipping payments as well. That's kind of my my thing on it. Um, I, I don't believe in declining the gratuity because the gratuity isn't just for the person you see. It's for the people you don't see down below. And that's where the real work is done as well. And people are getting a piece of the action down there. I'm happy. Florida Lifestyle, the CL Summer and Fall 2020 itineraries will be out later this month or March. Glen Edinburgh, Carnival Cruise Line, founded in 72. Deb Gourmet, haven't been to uh, NO yet, New Orleans, someday. Bonnie, hi, Tom Henry. Cindy wrote a lovely post on the TWB Facebook page today. She sure did. Cat Rose, oh, curling looks like fun. Uh, Bonnie, and yes, Tom Henry, Sylvan and I had a nice phone chat today. Tom Henry, hi, Bonnie. I will have to check that out on Facebook. Florida Lifestyle, DCL Alaska pricing is very high, but DCL is worth it. Uh, Tom Henry, sounds great. Bonnie, Sylvan wasn't talking. <laughs> Uh, uh, Scott Weber, uh, who is older, Hall in America or Cunard? I think I think Cunard from the 1800s, uh, if I recall. M Mary uh, Nancy Ross, going on a Princess cruise in late April. What do you know about cruise port of Cartagena, Colombia? I know nothing. Does anyone know anything about Cartagena, uh, Colombia? Nancy Ross, safe or not safe to walk around uh, there? Good question there, Dimitri. Bruce, since cruising became more and more popular, which vacation industry is taking the hit the most? Timeshares? Laughing out loud? Um, I think it's all growing, Dimitri. I, I don't think uh, timeshares are in decline, although uh, they're not new anymore. Um, the problem with timeshares, now that the timeshare business is approaching 50 years and, and probably the last 30 years, a lot, you know, very, very intense build out has been done in the last 30 years. There's a lot of inventory out there, old inventory that people are trying to get rid of uh, because, uh, you know, mom and dad buy a timeshare in 1985 and uh, dad dies in 2010. Mom doesn't travel anymore. Uh, mom and dad don't need that timeshare. Problem is that timeshare is still costing so much a year to maintain. They've been giving that week away to family and friends. To, you go this year. You go this year. Now they're trying to sell it. They can't sell. They're, they're difficult to unload. And how tough is it to unload a timeshare that's restricted to a particular building or a particular complex or maybe a particular region? There's all kinds of restrictions on timeshares. So maybe their time has come and gone for the you know most popular uh, time. I don't know. A cruising, the beauty of a cruise is uh, if you like, you can book the same ship every year if that's what you want to do. Or you can change ships each year or go on the latest, newest cruise ship only and don't go on anything older than five years. It's up to you. You're the boss. You're not limited to where you're going. And you don't have to do a cruise this year if you don't feel like it. So that's one of the advantages of taking a cruise. It's so flexible. John LeBeau, thank you, Florida Lifestyle Team. Um, Scott Weber, Bruce, I didn't mean a, a embarkation point, but a port of call friendlier than Avalon or Santa Barbara. Uh, okay. Uh, Jorge, uh, update, forget 900 a person. Uh, Florida Lifestyle, Scott Weber, Cunard is the original cruise line founded back in uh, circa 1838. Glenn Edinburgh, okay, guys. Off to wash the car. Catch you all next week, Glenn. Have a good one in Brisbane, Australia. That old bitty, uh, chilly today, hot tamale. Hi from St. Louis. How you doing for St. Louis? Fantastic. Tom Henry, Nancy Ross. Cartagena has a lot of pushy street salespeople. I found the streets okay, but Cindy was spooked by many military vehicles with armed soldiers. Tom Henry says goodbye, Glenn. Florida Lifestyle, John LeBeau, you are welcome. Uh, Deb Gourmet, bye, Glenn. Uh, John LeBeau, hey, Bruce, I'm, uh, I'm a DBC member and loving it. Best investment 
ever. Very good. And Scott Weber, my mom donated her timeshare to charity. Get rid of it. Uh, Sylvan Forest, Cartagena. Been there. Didn't dare get off the ship. Um, uh, scary place. A lot of armed military presence. Not truly inviting to me. Uh, Linda Lou, been to Cartagena twice. First time they worried of danger, but second time, no worrying. We took a tour, though. Interesting. Florida Lifestyle, John Lavoe, we are DBC members since 2002. DBC is definitely best investment ever. Love it. Right on. Very interesting. There you go. A couple of very cool and interesting comments today. We've got 63 thumbs ups today for a Friday. 59 people still here. I think we hit 100 today at the height of the day today. Not a bad Friday at all for viewing. Fridays are not my most watched show because people are busy Friday night with things to do. Uh, Linda Lou, oops, warned, she's saying. Um, but uh, I'm on tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern time for Cruise Ship News and live trivia. So I dare you to come by for that. That would be kind of fun. We always have a good uh, crowd with us on Saturday. A lot of fun on Saturdays. Tom Henry uh, or Warren laughing out loud. He's saying, Tom Henry, you have a great trip tomorrow. Uh, safe trip. Get yourself down to uh, San Juan, you and Paul. And then keep us posted, if you can, through the Facebook group page. And if you can join us on live, fantastic. Let us know next week how that cruise is going for you guys on the NCL Dawn. I believe you're on fantastic cruise coming up for you guys uh, hopefully will be nice calm weather too guys thank you for joining me today i really appreciate the fact you're here uh, dimitri bruce it takes you about a uh, what is that an, an hour to catch up on all the comments what are you going to do when you have three more of all these guys uh three, when you have 300 people on and you can't read all the comments steamy bean take care tom henry peace out uh i'll i'll cross that bridge when we get to it right now for me this is just a casual time to hang out with you guys and uh, visit with you connect with you people. It's, I love it. Linda Lou, laugh alone, darn autocorrect. John LeBeau, Florida Lifestyle team member since, uh, BBC member since 1999. Tom Henry, waving. Uh, well, you know, we'll just kind of deal with it as we go. If I have to bring in moderators, I'll bring in moderators. Uh, but uh, for now, it's all good. Uh, folks are hanging out. Uh, we There's no pressure to get the messages read in 15 minutes. Uh, I've got time to talk and uh, go from there. And as people are patient enough to wait around for their message to be read, that's good too. But, uh, you know, eventually I'll have to kind of gloss over the short comments and just get into the meat of the matter uh, as the way it's going to be. Uh, Florida Lifestyle, John LeBou, I'm so jealous. Uh, Cat Rose, not going to be online tomorrow. Going to be to, going to an event. Well, Cat Rose, have a great day tomorrow. I'll probably see you on Monday at 5 o'clock for my next show. But uh, thank you, folks, for joining me today. David Elner, hello from Long Island. David, buddy, welcome back today. Uh, thanks for joining me on this, uh, this Friday show. Hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it very much doing my thing. Tom Henry, Bruce is not. Star Trek ready, laugh out loud. No, uh, oh, you live long and prosper. Oh, that's what you're doing. Okay, sorry. Uh, there you go. Live long and prosper. Uh, yeah, what can I say? Uh, <laughs> Linda Lou, have a great trip, Tom and Paul. Dimitri, I'll have to start the live show right after you. Laugh out loud. Bonnie, night all. Bon voyage, Tom Henry, Paul Lucas, Tom Henry, Cat, me neither. Laughing out loud. Deb Gwimet, have a wonderful, safe cruise, Tom and Paul. Uh, we're all going to be watching for you guys and staying on top of what's going on. Looking forward to what how your cruise goes down there. Thanks, Bonnie. He says, John LeBoon, Night all have a great evening. All right, guys, I'm out of here. 60-odd uh, folks are still here. Thank you for all of your kind words, comments, and support of this channel. Thank you for sharing my videos and uh, and uh, picking up TW merchandise. Thank you for your support with my Amazon affiliate link page. I really appreciate it, of course. Uh, have a great uh, hawk, uh, a holiday, great weekend, everybody. A uh, great trip for those of you going on a cruise. and. Uh, and uh, we'll catch you tomorrow at 2 o'clock Eastern. Otherwise, we'll see you Monday at 5. All right, guys, stay safe, stay warm, stay healthy, and I'll see you uh, tomorrow at 2. See you all. Take care. Bye for now.